So let's see here. All right. Sneaky O. What? Sneaky O. Can you hear me, little bro? Uh, I can actually hear you loud and clear, little little brother. All right. Yo, little bro, why, why are you saying me for? Because I was joking. His song was like, oh, he's trying to turn this thing off. I said, song. That's a joke, man. Come on, man. You're debating the same people. We're talking to the same guys, know, talking about similar issues, <laughs> trying to jack Ye24. I'm just saying it's on, going down a similar trajectory. Ye24 can only happen if I'm a part of the, the, um, the campaign. It's the only way. Why is that? To get, to get the Jewish youth on their side? You, need, you guys need the Jews. You need to show everyone that the Jews are invited and loved. And that's just a fact. Right. Well, if, if we want to really talk real about this, um, you know, you know, I was involved. Did you really have an interview lined up or did you just talk to him on the phone? No. So I spoke to somebody who um, was, wait, are you talking about with, with Kanye or are you talking about who are you talking about? Yeah. You, you talked about Ye saying that you had this interview planned and then yeah, it I, didn't I, really. I spoke to him on the phone. We texted for, uh, I think it was two or you three You texted. Days. Did you really have an interview lined up? He wasn't really doing press anymore. He Me? did his interview run. No, I have a literal text. Oh my, here, I'll send it to you right now. I have a text on my phone that says, yeah, let's, let's do the stream when you get back from Dubai. Okay, okay, okay. I'll send it to you later on. But um, no, it's actually at the top of our conversation. Well, what's going on? You said that you have some things that you disagree with me about. I want to, and I like what you're doing, man. I like uh, that you stand for something now. You're not doing degenerate dildo stuff anymore. I like the new Aiden. I miss the new Aiden. I miss the new Aiden for real. Well, um, I'm going back to the, to that. I actually want to go back to sucking dick, fucking dildos, riding dildos. Okay. I want to go back to um, like, well, you are in uh, Thailand. You're in, well, you're in Bangkok, right? There's a lot of a lot of transgenders there. Probably have some nice cocks, right? Bangkok. Well, you know, and, and we don't do any degeneracy anymore. We're not on that. We're both evolving. We've had a degenerate path past the both of us. So I'm here, just training every single day, traveling the world, enjoying life. Beautiful view behind me. We're just in Dubai, trying to work on. Uh, Wait, I thought you were in Green Ban Tate. I thought you were in Bangkok. <laughs> You're banned too. You're, bro, you're almost as canceled as me. I don't know why you're making this joke. Kinda, not really. What did I really do to get canceled though? If you really think about it. What the fuck did I do? Come on, man. There, there's, there's, more than, there's more than two genders. Oh, I said, you think so? No, there's not. There's two genders. There's uh, two. Two right. in the chat. There's, there's 100%. All right. Thank you for saying that. I and Jadeon should have said it too. Jadeon is a man of God. He's a Christian. Everybody who believes in God knows that God created two genders. This is not a debate. Okay. Thank you. We can, we can close that off there. And there's stuff that okay. I'm going to ask you and you could ask me as well um, about stuff about what we think about. Because I'm sure there's stuff that you, you and I disagree on and whatever, but we'll talk about it. Okay. So this is what I'll ask you first of all. The most critical situation. You know, you, you you start, it was so funny. You're like dancing with a fucking gun, like right here, like just dancing. And he says about like <laughs> some clips. Like, I'm gonna be honest, bro. He did really own you. You know, he did. Come he on. Owned me, bro. That's he a, okay. You just talk, you. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. You talk about, you talk about fuck white people. That's some white people shit to be like, oh, clips, magazines. Bro, everybody says clip. Is that really an own to be like, actually, yes. it's called magazine. <laughs> Come on, bro. Okay, And second of all, if you talk about, if we're going to talk about dildos, if we're going to talk about sucking dick, that dude actively still does that. There's so many. He just dropped a music video huh? of the, uh, he just dropped a music video of upside down crosses, promoting antichrist with dildos, throwing at each other's face, promoting drugs, promoting all the degeneracy. Not, it's on an old clip, bro. He just dropped a music video last week with the antichrist in the background, promoting Satanism. This is just disgusting. And I think that we both know that the youth needs a more positive message right now. Both of us are not perfect. Both of us have troubled past, but we should look at the future i don't know why everybody all these soy boys continue to talk about my fat past and not talk about the present i've had people come on omegle and say that yo you and aiden sneeko and aiden helped me start working out i've been doing push-ups every single day yeah bro i've had people come up to me and be like yo bro you started helping me like change the whole trajectory of my life i'm going to the gym every day 2020 23 is my year people are motivated right now and all these same people the same people that talk shit about you talk shit about me because they want us to stay to our degenerate path you never got canceled when you were being gay when you were sucking dick and boxing dildos nobody had a problem as soon as you start doing push-ups talking about how tate should be freed talking about how there's only two genders talking about following god not being degenerate now everybody wants to cancel you i think you know i, I you know i was sending a text i everything you're saying is true it, it, you know it is at the end of the day like it's kind of funny you know with everything you just said it, it's actually true i stated a fact a scientific fact about two genders and i just get fucking canceled for it. it's crazy 
Um, okay, cool. Listen, bro. I want to ask you a question. Why okay. were you? He's not going to come on a debate, by the way. The whole chat should. Okay, he doesn't want to fight. I understand. He's shorter. He doesn't leave his room. He games all day. He promotes degeneracy. Well, hold on, porn. Stinko. Wait, he, but he won't he, debate. He won't Stinko. debate. If he, if he doesn't want to fight, at Stinko. least he can debate. I don't know where he is. He does look. Okay, free, he looks pretty strong. I looked at his picture. He looks kind of tough. It would be a good boxing match. I, it would be a good match. I think it would be a great match. You would, in the video that you said he owned me and he also said that I would beat him up so he's not gonna do it we both know it whatever fuck that shit I don't really give a fuck about that shit alright either way it was just funny he, with the magazines you know he, he pulled out the actual like a real big gun it was kind of funny alright listen bro so why were you and him even beefing in the first place what happened please tell me okay you want, you want to know why I'll explain it and I would prefer to just go talk to him because this back and forth this drama stuff you know all the twitter pages are gonna clip this up and all the you know what I'm saying the Dexerto, Jake Sucky these people are gonna clip it up but the reason we started beefing was because I first heard about Fresh and Fit from a hit piece of his video, from one of his videos. Chat, he lies. Sure no. All he does is lie. He lied when Tate got locked up. He said that Greta Thunberg doxed him for the pizza box. That's not true. How stupid do you have to be? The guy's 30 plus, and he really believes that they don't check your passport when you enter an airport. He doesn't think that two of the most high profile people in the world, Andrew and Tristan Tate, would have been tracked entering Romania. He legitimately got on camera and said, Greta Thunberg doxed him because the pizza box. All these soy boy channels, the same ones that are making hit pieces on me and you right now, they all lied and believed in Hold this on. stupid Real quick, real Once quick, we, for, for, real quick to cut you off. So people don't know, what is, what is the definition of a soy boy? What is that? A soy boy is a pasty person who doesn't want to change. These internet gangsters who believe in nothing, they stand for nothing. Right now, the reason I respect you is you have something that you stand for. Soy boys before the internet, they had no voice. It used to be the traditional alpha male. I'm not an alpha male. You're not an alpha male. I know they both call us that now to try to discredit us, but it used to be alpha males led the world. Now, since the internet, Mark Zuckerberg took over, and now people who didn't, nerds, who never had any power, control the world because they control social media. So now these people have a voice that would have never had any say beforehand. That's a soy boy. So they, and they, they make this face. They look like monkeys screaming. Yo! <laughs> yeah, screenshot that, please. All right, listen, wait. Okay, so... You know, it's funny you say that. I think Andrew's the first one to call me a soy boy. I don't know. Did he? he called me, no, he just said he likes soy fucking coffee and shit. But I get what you're saying. It's basically a, uh, someone said a cuck -a male A cuck -a male or some shit like that. Low testosterone. Yeah, that. Okay, gotcha. Well, you're not wrong about all that shit. Um, all right, well, let's see. Uh, someone said address the pedophile allegations. And that's why I want to debate about him. Like, that's why I want to come on here. I don't want to do this insult back and forth. So he, he really doesn't like the fact that I supported the movie Cuties. When Cuties is actually a movie about Islamic faith. It's about how Western degeneracy can corrupt people and why TikTok is bad for you. Nobody who hates that movie actually saw it. It's about a Western African family that went to France, which is westernized, a bunch of TikTok garbage, and they get infiltrated by this nonsense and the girl starts dancing and stuff like that. It's gross. The movie is supposed to be gross. And then at the end, she starts to find her family. She puts on a hijab. She starts covering herself and she finds God and she finds an Islamic religion. That was my point. That's why I like the movie. But all these sore boys, they saw... Well, this is bad without watching it. They have all the same copy and paste opinions. These commentary channels don't stand for anything. They just say exactly what Twitter says because they don't feel like doing any research. Okay. Um. And also, if you say address the pedophile allegations, Aiden, who looks more like a pedophile? Who would you rather not bring around your children? That dude with the beard and the fentanyl hair looking like he sleeps under a bridge or me? Who looks like a pedophile? Does anyone, this is why this allegation is kind of stupid. Does anyone actually think I'm a pedophile? Does anyone think that? You look, take one look at this dude. It's like, bro, <laughs> yeah, I would not. People who game all day, that all is, these Minecraft YouTubers, <laughs> all girls. It's Sky does Minecraft, these dudes gaming all day. That's always who it is. That's why he's so hard on that. Probably because he has some weird stuff in his hard drive. Just saying. Um, I will agree with you on that. I, I like that take. I think all these guys who are, oh man, yo, I don't, I don't say what I want to say that are basically, sh um, silenced and shit. Like literally like they're so afraid to speak against the agenda. I will agree with you on that. Views guys definitely do some really weird shit. Like these guys over at Twitch, for example, these fucking streamers who are pitch perfect. Right. And they just literally like, no matter what, like dicks off Twitch, no matter what, even though there's there's literal corruption going on in the world and on Twitch itself, and they don't say anything. They're obviously hiding shit behind closed doors. They're doing weird shit. I don't care. They are. You know, you hear about it all the fucking time. 
it's always a projection. They have weird things. They have skeletons in their closet, so they need to blame other people for what's going on so that they feel better. It's always like that. The person who's accusing the most, the person who's calling Tate a sex trafficker, has always a weird past, has some weird stuff going on because they don't understand the real world. The internet has corrupted a lot of minds. You know, what? you know what's crazy? Sneeko, Sneeko, it's crazy. On the internet, everyone says that Tate's a sex trafficker, a rapist, but in person, I've never met someone that said, hey, you know, he's a rapist. And it's crazy. You're not wrong about some of the things you say. People on Twitter itself are not real. I swear to God, it's like they're NPCs, bro. I've never seen these people on in the real life world. I just haven't. I don't come across them. I don't. They're, I they're not, I've, never, I've never had a negative interaction. The, I've been trending for five, four or five days for all these haters. I've never seen them in real life. It's always positive. People shaking my hand, like, thank you for what you're saying. I'm glad for what you're doing. You really have inspired me. But look, that's a great analogy you made. Epstein, when it comes out that he's a sex trafficker, you know how many people come out and say, Actually, yeah, Epstein was creep. Epstein sniffed my chair. Epstein touched my. Epstein was a hundred percent a sex trafficker. So many people come out and say that. Weinstein, same thing. So many people say, yeah, there's this weird stuff. There's rumors about it. Tate, no, not one person close to him has ever accused him of something bad. Not one person has anything negative to say. They all say positive things. And right now, he's still locked up, and none of these streamers care about that. It's a human rights violation, and he should be freed soon. I, you know, he needs to be freed. So what I'm trying to say is that Chad, you guys could agree with me. The people that are actually on some real life shit, whether you guys, uh, what are you drinking? Sparkling water. Okay, so look, you guys could all agree, say facts to the chat or cap. I wanna just know, do you guys wanna talk about when I talk about the people with, with, the, with the extra pronouns and shit in their bio on Twitter, who say all these things and, and, and you'll never catch them in person, you just won't. You, I, I don't think they're real. I think they're literally bots. Like I, I'm genuinely convinced they're not real people. I, and, and yeah. I. And, and you know, I, I, it's 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 crazy, you know. And I and I think it's wrong for people to to say, oh, for example, Aiden, you have such a, a big name, or you hold power on this youth shit. But these people hold power on on youth too, and they promote their own weird agendas. It's just so hypocritical and controversial with certain topics. Without all these people think that everyone's pitch perfect and shit, you know. It's crazy. Well, that's, why wokeness, that's why pronouns were designed. Wokeness and all this cancel culture, these people who feel like they're better, people who believe in a million genders, they have designed that to bring people down, to push therapy, to push degeneracy, to tell you that jerking off is good. They want you to be sad. They I want you yo, to be Sneeko, do you remember when I said, stop watching porn and do push-ups? And Hassan said, wow, Aiden is really going full right. How is that going full right? I'm telling you guys to stop watching porn and do push-ups. How does that make me a rightist? How does that make it me a because, rightist? How? Because they, they have made self-improvement a right-wing idea. Leftists are so far controlled, so far woke with all their genders, antichrist, the Satanist beliefs, bringing people down, this weird, bro, now there's pride flags in, in schools. Now they're twerking in front of kids. The drag queens are teaching your children the alphabet that now jerking off is part of their ideology. What's, so a, what's, a, what's, a, what's, a, what's a drag queen? What is that? A drag queen is, uh, it looks like Lasanabi when he wears a dress for fun. It's that. I don't know. I honestly don't know what the fuck that is. What's a drag queen? Don't look it up. It's, it's just, uh, it's one of the LG HD TV things. Now you're going to look it up. It's like, uh, James Charles. All right. Anyways, um, it's like sex. I get you. Look, so, um, Snakeo, I'm, um, I'm not homophobic or transphobic and I, I love everyone and I have a, I have a great fucking, um, space in my heart for people who want to be themselves and express themselves. I love that. I'm all for that. But one thing about me, and I want to know your, 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 your belief on this. I don't fuck with how cartoons and Marvel movies are starting to push certain agendas. Um, I think it's really wrong for, a, a kid who has no idea um basically what's fucking what to think they're so fucking young they're super young and they're and they're getting just shown these fucking weird not weird but just things you shouldn't be shown at this certain age what are your thoughts on that and if you understand it's what every I'm, single movie. I'm glad that you see that because every single movie now if you watch netflix if you watch any show if you watch any marvel movie it's always female empowerment and the man looking like a dumb idiot you're not supposed to be empowered as a man anymore. They want us to be weak because if you control the men, then you let the women run the world. 
And then we're both Chad, unhappy because Destiny. women don't want to lead, men want to lead. It's all programming. Every movie has some sort of propaganda now. Every single movie that's released, there's no more James Bond, there's no more Jason Bourne, there's no more male superheroes. They've destroyed that and they've empowered women. They, it's part of the programming. I agree. I agree with you on that. Um, so I disagree with you. You've agreed with everything so far. I, I, I know. I, want to I just, the I, just I, don't, don't I don't like when people say Aiden is turning into Sneeko. I just, I'm, I'm starting to just wake up. That's all it is. And I'm not saying everything you do and say is 100%. Like, for example, I, I, I'm going to be honest, bro. I'm sorry if it's a sensitive point. I, I, I would never, I don't want to have her have, if I have a significant other, I would never want her to like basically be fucked in front of me. I, I'm sorry if that's pushing, but I, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I don't want to have that either. I, I don't. I don't want I that. think that people should see that. And that happened three years ago. Now, I know it's a little bit haram, but I have multiple girlfriends. I know that's not exactly fully Islamic, but you know, you have to operate in the world like that. That was my past. I talked about it on the podcast because I didn't like it. I said on that podcast that it was scarring and I, but look, you, no girl, no guy wants to have a girl who's on OnlyFans. No guy wants to get married to a girl that does porn. Wasanabi dated a porn star and saw her get fucked on camera. Look, bro, we don't Wait, want to- Wait, Hassan dated a porn star? I didn't know that. He did. Guy calls me a cuck all day and he was watching his girl get fucked on camera by multiple guys and getting paid for it. So Yo. I find a little bit of- a and look, Aiden, I don't promote that. I said on that podcast, I hated doing it. People should look at that. Of course, I'm getting made fun of for it. And that's probably good. People should see that and not ever act on that. Use that as an example. One that's thing exactly I will say is this. Okay, this, this is what I disagree with you on. But I think if it's, if it's, if it's for your religion, I'm going to be as respectful as I can. I believe in it's one and one. I believe in one significant other. I don't believe in multiple wives. I don't believe in multiple women. I just, I, but it depends, I guess. I, I think it depends how you treat them. And I think it depends like how your how your um excuse me how your culture how your culture is but i i, I believe in one-on-one i i don't i don't like i don't know that's how i am well alhamdulillah i think that if you're able to provide for more than one woman and you could take care of them equally then you should be able to have multiple wives but you have to treat them equally i got to, i got into this debate with andrew before um before and it was just it was it was uh it was it was when i went to meet him in person he was telling me basically like i should have never broken up with my ex i should have basically kept her on like kind of like a like a um, a relationship where I still basically had her and I and I gave her affection from here in time and here and there and let, let her on basically I didn't really agree with that I, I I genuinely believe that when it's time is over with and I and I and I lose feelings to someone or I don't really love them anymore I fought a love or etc I think you shouldn't really lead them on anymore I think that's when you kind of should just be like hey like you know I love you and it's always gonna be love but I think it's time for you know, us to go our separate ways. And I think that you should leave it at that. And, and that's how I really, really believe that people well, should. Sure, that can, that can work for some people, but the counter to that is how much of that do you think is attributed to your testosterone levels? I think at a certain point that if you have enough energy and you have enough time and you have enough resources to care for more than one woman, there's no problem with that. If you're at a point where you just want to be monogamous, that's fine. But I don't understand what that has to do with breaking up with your girl. I'm just saying, I, I think, okay, I get what you're saying. I do. Um, Wait, what did you mean by testosterone level? I have a pretty good level. Actually, it's mid, 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 mid. My testosterone level, I think, is like 700 something. Is that good? That's good. That's above average. So, yeah, why, why, why did you keep her? I don't understand why you let her go, oh, bro. You still talking. Listen, 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 man. I, at the end of the day, man, I, I, I care a lot about uh, my significant other's heart and, and their general and their general health and mental health and being. You know what? I, I, I would never want to put them in an uncomfortable iceberg and basically scatter them away um, for my ceramic lifestyle and you know, I, 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 I would need to just separate that stuff and, and basically, you know, unmotionize it because at the end of the day, bro, yeah, we, we didn't work out and I don't want to leave it on, leave it on, you know, and that's just what it is, you know? You sure you're not so a little bit in love? Always going to be love for that person, but no, I'm not at all. No. All right. But go, I mean, we disagree, but I, I think there's still something there, but I mean, you, wait, you do, you, and do you like destiny or no? Yeah, he's a good guy. He's, uh, I know you, you, we probably have the same opinion about him. We disagree about pretty much everything. Destiny has soy boy beliefs, but I like the fact that he can actually engage in a debate. I don't like, like uh, I don't, I don't, I don't like how he calls Andrew a rapist though. I don't like that at all. He's lying about that. It's cope because, uh, Andrew and Tristan, they go <laughs> against literally everything he believes in. So he uh, needs, he needs, these people don't care about Tate being a sex trafficker. They just hate Andrew. They just need Andrew to be locked up. It has nothing to do with him being an evil person. They don't even care about any of the victims. They're just glad that the fact that Andrew is locked up so that their entire belief system can't be debunked by one guy now. Gotcha. Gotcha. 
Oh. Right, so he's not coming. Back. He's, he's, he's not going to come on debate. Did, did he reply to you? Destiny will come on. He said he wants to talk to us. Um, but yeah, nah, man. I I don't think I'm going to get more critical. I don't think he's he's going to be opening to do that, bro. He didn't reply to me uh, when I hit him. He's ducking, man. He's ducking, bro. I mean, if you duck a fight, that's one thing. Ducking a debate after making a, a video. When I'm banned on YouTube. Like, people are saying, oh, he owned you. He I, owned you. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be honest, Sneeko. Sneeko. He owns you. Just take your L. Listen. Not in the debate. Sneeko, he owns you. Listen. Just listen. He brought out a whole gun. Bro. Then why is he not here? Why is he not here? Maybe he, he, me. he just doesn't want to give it attention. Maybe I don't know. Listen, it's his own thing. Bro, Moist Critical, pull up. Moist, Moist Critical brought out an AK-47, bro, with like six round mag, clip, extended mag, with camos and fucking whatever, bro. Like, come on, bro. He did, and he said mags, dumbass. It was just funny. I don't know. I laughed. Mags, mags clips, and mags? The fuck? Well, actually, it's a mag. That's what I... Let's go and talk about cuties. Let's talk about what you stand for. What I wanted to go and talk to him about is what exactly do you stand for? Aiden, maybe you can answer this question too. Because I've been watching a lot of these people. KSI has been talking shit about me. H L3, L3. A lot, all these people that I, I watched like back in the day before I was even a YouTuber are now talking shit about me. But if there's one simple question that I they like, can never I, answer. I, I like KSI. Wait, go ahead. I like him a lot. He's cool. Fine. What do they stand for? They just do their content. Most critical. critical. But right. This is, this is the point. Nowadays, it's getting harder and harder for men to succeed. The gap is getting bigger. There's more programming than ever. More people are believing in garbage. So you That's cannot true. invest time. Listen, you cannot invest time watching people who do not stand for anything. The reason I like you is because you have a direction for the future now. Your audience is going to grow and evolve with you, just like my audience is going to grow and evolve with me. I've made mistakes, and now I'm going to become the best person I can be. I'm traveling the world. I'm training. I am trying to become the best person. I'm doing push-ups every single day. I'm telling my audience how to make money. I'm telling them to follow God. They don't talk about that, but these people that hate on me and you, what do they stand for? Nothing. They have no point of view. They have no political agenda. They have no view of the world. They do not add any value. They spit drama and they talk about reaction videos and they say clip instead of mag. Retarded shit. And then people he, go, he owned you. He did own you. Exactly, it, what do you I'm not, to I'm your not, audience? I'm not, I'm not saying. I'm not saying that maybe he doesn't have to preach the shit that you preach to your audience or I have to preach. Whatever. That's, that's up to, hold on. But that's, but that's, but that's, but that's, but that's, but that's, but that's for him to decide. You understand? Like, listen, just because you have a platform doesn't mean you have to preach certain, certain shit. It's just, you have to accept that, bro. Like you have to, you have to accept that. Like if KSI and listen, if KSI wants to make content where people can get away from it and like as a fix and like people can laugh at KSI, let KSI go do that. They're not, gonna, not everyone's going to be like you or like, I'll say some shit. Like you got to just respect that. But what I will say is this, what I meant by that moist critical owning you, it was in that clip. He fucking honed you, bro. Listen, it was a funny clip, bro. <laughs> my point is it's not about them of course they can decide Bro. to do that they can decide to get hold up and never get canceled i'm canceled off of most platforms i got my twitter back thank you to elon but <laughs> the audience should decide why am i investing time watching garbage that adds no value to my life my life listen, is difficult sneak they try to be depressed sneak they are up. trying to program these movies wait listen so why would i listen to a content creator that doesn't add any value why would i listen to a content creator that believes in garbage like greta thunberg docks the pizza box and that's why andrew tate's locked up why should i give credibility to these people why should and this is the reason that i brought up moist critical's girlfriend in the first place she's a two all respect Yo! if you want to be monogamous that's fine that's fine i'm not trying to say that look that's the life he wants to live fresh for example he started roasting fresh and fit saying fresh is a virgin fresh is known in miami for being a playboy fresh is really like that and he doesn't understand that so the first video i saw of fresh and fit was moist critical saying oh he's a virgin oh he's a virgin you don't understand real life okay i learned i learned i learned i learned i learned i learned something let me let me just tell you one thing let me let me just say one thing here's what i learned whenever i was or going back over the h3 h3 I, I once a year ago, I said something about his wife. I feel like when you go at someone's significant other, it's, it's, it's low. Who knows why he's with that person? He's attracted to that person. Let him be with that person. You understand? Hold on, let me finish. So I feel like when you go at someone's significant other, it could be extremely low. And I feel like that's the wrong message you're putting out there for your people because they're like, oh, fuck, that means that we should attack their, 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 their his significant other. Bro. Here you go. Here I'm not. Go. No, I'm <laughs> just. I'm. Sneeko, I'm just saying, keep it between you and him, not don't include his significant other. You understand? I agree with you. I am talking about 
his sex life because he repeatedly talks about mine. You're going to go and obsess over my past and what I did in the past. Okay, let's talk about your present. You're still monogamous with the two. The first time I heard about Fresh and Fit was him calling him a virgin, talking about Fresh's sex life. If you want to invest time and criticize people for their sex life, then we should analyze yours too. Why should I listen to you if you're with an unattractive girl that's mon that you're monogamous to? I don't want to listen to that. He talks about it first. These soy boys, we never go at them first. They always criticize us. And then when I fire back with the same thing, it's like, well, don't talk about it. All right, then stop talking about my personal life. Let me grow. Let's look at the present. I, I, I get what you're saying. I actually I actually see your argument there. I see it. I'm not going to lie. I wish I wish I could see you both talk. I really want to see like both sides. You know, well, he's ducking. Uh, he, he, you're saying they owe me, but he's ducking right now. We, we can admit that. I think I think he's part of I think. I think part of, I think part of the reason it could be also that I'm I'm banned on Twitch and you're banned on Twitch. So he's streaming on Twitch. If he were to stream our stream or my stream, he'd get banned. So I don't think I think that might be a reason I stream, why. I stream on rumble.com slash Nico. I'm not streaming right now, I'm talking on Kick, a gambling platform. Yes, not just a gambling platform, okay? Kick is platform. Kick Kick is blowing Rumble out the water. Sorry it is. No, it's not. No, yes. It's not. Hey, we just signed three big people. Huge, huge. Huge. And guess what, Sneeko? We'll get you next, bro. We'll get you next, okay? You come over here. Listen, listen. Gonna come over no, to he's not. Over. No, he's not. Listen, we'll get you over here. We'll get um. We'll get Tate over here. We'll get everyone over here. Listen, point is this. Fuck that shit. Point is, fuck Twitch. Okay, anyways. Listen, real shit. I respect what Rumble's doing. You got to respect what Kingston. Cool. Whatever. Listen, I want to add Destiny here because I really want to I really want to see, uh, you know, this. I want to see some disagreements and I want to see some... He's going to represent the soy mentality. He's going to step in for Moist because Moist Ward doesn't want to come in. No, I want to, Have you ever met Trainwreck? Briefly one time in a, in a Destiny. He seems like a cool guy. I love Train. He's honestly one of the best people. I swear to God he is. Yo, yeah, yeah. Thanks for the sub. Um, but yeah. Uh, all right. Let me see if I can get Destiny here. What, what said it? What said it? It's like I said, bro. The thing is, I have no problem with you and I don't hold on, get Destiny here. Chad, is this going to hit, yes or no? Oh, God, Train's the best. I swear to God he is. Train is actually the GOAT. Hey, Destiny. Oh, my God. The circle jerk in here. You guys' room must be up to your knees and cum right now. How you doing? I find it ironic that Destiny always says that when you are actually openly bisexual and like penis. It seems weird to use the, homosex, the homophobic insults when you actually... You, I, 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 no, don't disrespect Wait, can we actually you talk about that? Why do... Destiny, why do people insult me... No, 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 real shit. They call me yeah, homophobic. No, 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 no Destiny. Good. In general, Destiny. In general, your yeah. group, your your people, like you know, like like the the blue hair, blue fingernails, like the you know the he him or whatever on on Twitter, the they them. You guys always will basically call me homophobic, but you guys will insult me for being gay with Andrew. It makes no sense to me. What? what why is it so? I no, I want to understand. Yeah, Sneeko, like you know what I'm saying. Chat, you know what I'm talking about. Y'all always do that. Why? Why? Because it's not about an ideology. It's about bringing down the essence of masculinity. They don't actually believe in this stuff. They just think they're taught and brainwashed to think that alpha male toxic masculinity is a bad thing. Do you guys ever take a step back and act like humans? What kind of answer is Destiny, that? address the pedophile allegations. Yeah. Address yeah. the pedophile yeah. allegations. Yeah. You pedophile. Okay. No, I'm kidding. Okay. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay. It's crazy, when Destiny. People... For, like, for a lot of the clips that are coming out, being that disrespectful towards Muhammad is a wild thing to be talking about incessantly on Twitter. Sneeko, can you give me one verse from the Quran you like? Yeah, I can. Go ahead. No. <laughs> Okay, that's what I thought. Don't talk because to me. I'm gonna, don't because you know, Yo, Sneeko. Let me answer. Wait, let me answer. Yo, is he fake? Yo. Can I answer Miss Corbin? Can I answer Aiden's question from earlier? He yes. said, why do people make fun of you for being gay? Obviously, people just try to hit people where they hurt, where it hurts. That's all people go for. So if people think you're homophobic, they're going to make gay jokes at you. It's oh, okay, 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 okay. It's not about like tearing down masculinity and using the matrix to destroy all of it. It's just a simple thing. That's usually what people do. They'll okay. make you insecure about something. They'll make fun of you for it. Fair enough, fair enough. Now look, Destiny. I'm not 100% saying you're a pedophile, by the way. I want to make that clear. But there are some okay. clips where I saw and I was like, all right, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Basically, you said a clip that you know, quote me if I'm wrong or quote me if I'm not wrong. I don't really know how that shit, that expression works. You know what I mean? Listen, yeah. you basically said something where like, <laughs> you said, uh, if a man watches child porn, he is less likely to be a, uh, a, a child rapist or some shit like that. First of all, I can't, yeah. that, that shouldn't even be a, Yeah. Why did you even, can you explain? 
Yeah, if you if you really want to go down that road, there is a clip from a debate where a guy asked me, an actual pedophile called Amosi, who's arrested, by the way, I think now, for either fucking a minor or trying to fuck a minor. He asked me, is there ever a case where child porn might be okay? And I said, I don't know. I guess maybe if you watch it instead of raping a kid, it might be okay. Right. That was the only thing. I don't even know if that's true, though. I don't know if watching child porn makes you less likely to rape children. I, I don't know if there's research on that. What did you say in that clip, though? I don't know. Go fucking find it. This debate's like eight years old. Oh, that was, that was years ago? What about, you said that molesting somebody doesn't count, molesting a child doesn't count as pedophilia? No, what I, geez, you guys <sighs> always clip from these big conversations. There is a crime stat where when it comes to people that abuse underage children, everybody thinks these people are pedophiles, which isn't necessarily true. What happens is, is people abuse people. What? <laughs> if, you, if you touch a kid, you're a pedophile. What, it's, that's it. Okay. Yeah. What, what is what speed you need to bring up to go and justify molesting a kid? That's pedophilia. What? There I don't know you got justifying molesting a kid. Molesting children is wrong. So what I was going to say is, is that a lot of the people that abuse children are people that are just in positions of power over them. So like babysitters, teachers, priests. These are people that I think the Australian crime stats show that like 10% of them have a history of like pedophilic tendencies. But the other 90% are just in a position of power over the kid and they end up molesting them. But it's not like uh, only pedophiles molest their kids. But it's important to keep in mind because it's not like only pedophiles can abuse children. You might get babysitters, teachers, clergymen or whatever other weird people that will just do it because they're in that position and they take advantage of it. That was so if you molest a kid, if you molest a kid not I, it depends on the fucking age. I don't know. If you're 21 no! and you molest a 17 year old, are you a pedophile? <laughs> bro, bro, bro. Hold on a second, dude. What, what do you mean it depends? No, it doesn't. It doesn't depend. Well, okay, this is epic. So the There's Where's no. This is just listen, listen. Okay. Okay, there, is no, there is no. There is no. There is no. There is no justification for no ever molesting a kid. Ever. No just so you, you don't think you should ever sexualize like a 15 or 16 year old ever? I no. know what you're gonna do. I know what you're gonna do. Yes, you should never. No, no, oh, never. Okay. So Wait. Then what do you guys think about the tapes DMing like Romanian women that are like 15 years old to try to get them on their campsite? Those <sighs> DMs were leaked. Those DMs were confirmed. They came from a Instagram verified account. So what do you think about the Tates, Tristan Tate DMing? One of them was the daughter of a Romanian politician DMing 15, 16 year old girls to get them on their website. Let me. Let's hear the coat. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, sneaky yo. Is there proof? Is there proof that they know the age? I don't know. I thought you guys said 15, 16 year olds always pedophilia, didn't but you? If they, but if they find out, if they find out. Yeah. What if what? Let's hear the coke. It's Sorry, a mystery because, and, like when you, when you ask him a question that he thinks he knows the answer, he'll just laugh at the ceiling instead of answering. <laughs> Did he know the age? I don't know. I'm asking you. No, I'm, <laughs> laughing because, I'm, <laughs> laughing, I'm laughing because Aiden Ross, because I saw your stream like two weeks ago, where you were laughing at me where I sit in a clip. Some 15 and 16 year old girls look like they're 20, 21 years old. And you're like, oh my God, that's so pedophilic. But now you're, and you're saying like, well, I don't know. Maybe 15, 16 year old. Maybe they look kind of older because daddy. No, like, you said some. No, you said, exactly you said, you said crazier exactly shit than that. You said said crazier shit than that, bro. Nah, that is exactly I, right, right, I'm about to get these clips. Yo, Prince Mel, send me the clips. You just said that molesting a kid doesn't mean you're a pedophile, and now he shifts it to this age right. thing that has nothing to do with what he... See, this is this is his debate, his snaky debate tactics, where he'll he'll get cornered for saying some wild shit like molesting a kid is, is not... doesn't make you a pedophile, and then make it about Tate. If you want to walk through the conversation, we could do it. What do you think a pedophile is? Somebody who's attracted to kids. Yes. Somebody who's attracted to prepubescent children. That's what a pedophile is, technically. What's that's right? what, that's what Wait, said, guys. you said to them for your way. If, if a 29-year-old if a fucks a 16-year-old, that's not technically pedophilia. They're not a child. It's just what somebody who's no. using a minor. Bro, okay, th this, is, this is like a, a gross conversation that like infects a lot of people's mind with garbage. Instead of doing this debate, instead of gaming for 10 hours a day, Destiny, why don't we all get on here for 20 push right now? We can debate about yes. pedophilia and justify molesting kids all day long. Wait, and you can put wait, wait, Sneeko, stop, 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 <laughs> Destiny, Destiny. Yeah, what the fuck yeah. did you just say? Repeat that statement. What the, what the fuck is he talking about? No. Blue can we do some push-ups? No, wait. <laughs> To this getting filled up with these weird ideas Wait. from Wilkins. It's destroying the youth. I'm sick of blue hair mentality now. 20 push-ups right now, chat. Oh, wait, I wanna, I wanna, wait, I wanna say I wanna say one thing. Hold up quick, hold up, sneak, hold up. We're gonna do that, but hold on. <laughs> Destiny, what do you think about yeah. the woke left artists like Lil Nas X Cardi B sexualizing young girls, promoting their agenda on kids? Isn't that technically worse than like what Tate's doing in your eyes or no? Be honest. If you're, is it I don't know how I compare it. I mean, sexualizing young children is probably never a good thing, I don't think. 
Well, that's what I wanted to ask you. So I'm asking you, what do you think about Lil Nas X, Cardi B? You know, those. I listen, I don't want to comment on them particularly because I haven't watched their shit. I don't know what they do. Like, if you're telling me they're sexualizing cool. children, I'm against sexualizing children, but I don't know if they're sexualizing children. If they are, then I obviously I'm opposed to that. Well, they're playing sexual music videos for a child audience on TikTok. That's showing sexual images to kids. What well, it, it should does? What does that mean? Like, are you, like, are they like saying like, "Hey, we want children to watch this"? Or are you just saying they're putting out like twerking on TikTok and some children watch it on TikTok? Twerking. Goes, sex twerking on the devil goes number one trending on YouTube. This is what they. These are marketed towards children. They make TikTok songs for satanic music. Bro, hold, I don't know where Satan came from. Holy shit. Sex twerking on the devil when number one trending. What do you mean? That that's literally satanic music. Fucking right. uh, whatever the, the gay dude, the they them went on Grammys and started doing a satanic song with the, the horns. He had a whole devil audience around him. The whole song is about something unholy. You're laughing, but it's true. It's Look true. at the video. And then after it's sponsored by Pfizer, the vaccine, that's something that you can't even talk about YouTube. Uh, you might get a strike for saying that. <laughs> but right after they show in a video... They get sponsored by the vaccine. It's all part of the same thing. Why does satanic music get sponsored by Pfizer? A vaccine that doesn't work. A vaccine that's shown to be created for a gain of function. Something that you can't talk about. You talk is about it, pedophilia for I 30 minutes straight. You won't talk, talk about, about the real issues. These I, people are getting blood clots from the vaccine. Yeah. Right. The only thing I can't talk about right now is anything because you guys are screaming incessantly. If you want to talk about one particular thing, that's fine. But I can't deal with the bot programming of 52 different uh, uh, You just went like, look at the, look at the look at the path we just went. We went from pedophilia to little nos to Satanism to the vaccine in like two breaths. It's if you want to talk about, if you want to, no, 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 no. if you want to talk about, that's every that's all your beliefs. If you want to talk about a particular thing, we could talk about a particular thing, but you're just like, you're you're going through like your entire programming, all of your code in like 52 seconds, okay? Like we're doing a we code review right now. We talk about how pedophiles don't molest children anymore. That shit is fucking infecting all the Aiden's kid, the, the stream is watching and you're filling them up with these weird ideas, man. Not it's not okay to molest kids. Any, you, no you, kid, you're, do, why, do you think it's okay to molest kids? You said that you're not a pedophile if you molest kids. What, what part of that says it's okay to molest kids? Bro, justifying that to any extent Who's is justified? gross. What did I justify? You said that if you molest a kid, it doesn't necessarily mean you're a pedophile. These Does people, that make it okay? Bro. Hold on, is it is it <laughs> pedophilia is bad and everything that's not pedophilia is okay? If I say like murdering somebody doesn't make you a pedophile, does it mean I justify murder? If you can't handle the conversation, that's fine, but then just don't talk about it. Don't virtue signal to me like every blue haired fucking cuck on the internet would to show how good they are about fucking protecting <laughs> kids or women because that's what you're doing right now. You're virtue signaling. I don't want to, I don't hear virtue signaling. I don't want to hear virtue signaling. If you want to talk about the issue or crime stats or what makes somebody a pedophile, we can talk about that. Don't virtue signal me. Do that in front of Aiden, okay? <laughs> Ninja, 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 shut the fuck up! He gets mad about yelling and then goes and yells and goes on a rant for five minutes. You see how it'd be like, stop yelling, and then I'm gonna start yelling. And then I'm gonna start yelling. Bro, in Dubai, in the Middle East, the pedophiles, there's no conversation, bro. They just get stoned. They just get, they just get excommunicated from society. Be. That's how it should be. That's how it should be. We shouldn't say that, oh, we're watching child porn's okay if it makes you feel better. No. Stones. Get the rocks. Bro, Done. in a country like Dubai, if the world was ran that way, people Plus like us country. wouldn't fucking exist. Thank you, Dubai's the UAE. City. Yeah, Let's UAE, I got you. Thank you. If, 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 if you want to deal with it, if, if everybody, if everybody <laughs> I got you, I got world, you. Everybody in the world, like the Gulf states, us three wouldn't exist. You realize that, right? We would be fucking murdered. Art and entertainment would be <laughs> largely <laughs> fucking banned. We didn't agree with the fucking We're doing some push-ups. You want to do some push-ups? You go first. I'll go second. Destiny, stop game and do it too. You want to do some push-ups, Destiny? I'll, I'll watch you guys do it, okay? No, you have to do some too. I can't, my camera's on a fucking stand. I can't move my. So is mine. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna aim my camera down. We're gonna all okay, do them. That's it. Okay, I'm watching you guys. Okay. Are you gonna do it with us? Yeah, and spirit. Okay. No, he's gonna game incessantly. True. Wait, they're saying it's cringe if we do this. No way, really? Yeah. Three bros on a fucking webcam after screaming at each other and jerking each other off for thirty minutes, doing push-ups and grunting in front of each other is gay. Well, what, no shot. Wait, what do you think about what do you think about porn? Uh, I, porn is awesome. Just don't abuse no, it. Don't use it too much. Yeah, this I see. I can't. They're saying cringe and shit. I don't know. Bro, you suck, man. Right, I, let's talk about pedophiles more. Yo, get your dick out of the camera, bro. <laughs> Actually, you can, we can bring it back in. No, I'm kidding. Wait, okay, so look. um, Destiny? Yeah, what's up? How old are you again? Uh, 34. All right. Well, 
as a 34 year old with blue hair, uh, how do you um, roam the earth? You know, knowing that uh, there are people that are full leftists that are promoting a very wrong agenda and a corrupt, a corrupt, it's corruptcy because it's a bad corruptcy agenda. Yeah, I'm not going to go. I'm probably not going to buy into that framework, right? That the left is promoting a bad agenda and whatever weird shit's going on here is a good agenda. You, you understand? I'm not going to agree with that, right? Okay, then why do you think that the left cannot engage in a debate? Why do you think that I should be debating Moist Critical right now and you're the only blue hair that will engage in these conversations? Wait, why is anybody question uh, marks? People have the power. They don't want to argue with other people. Like conservatives have the power. They don't want to argue with people on the left. They the left in power. They don't want to argue with people on the right. It's just the way of the world. Nobody likes to, to sacrifice their position, right? I mean, you talk a lot about virtue signaling, but these people, instead of having an argument, they always go to, you're transphobic, you're homophobic, you're racist, you're a uh, misogynist, you're a sexist. You're a pedophile, like you just did for like 10 minutes. You guys are all the same. You realize that, right? Okay, right. Destiny, 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 you, guys Destiny guys you just said it. You just said, you just said, you just said something like, if I'm 27 years old, some about a 16 year old, bro. Say what you said again. You guys are two sides the coin. Say it, say it again. Say it again. Say what you said about the pedophile shit, bro. You said something about a 20 something year old and a 16 year old. You said some shit like that, bro. I asked you if it was wrong because I was curious how you felt about the Tate's DMing 15, 16 year olds to get them on their porn website. Oh, you don't have a strong opinion on it anymore? Bro, bro. <laughs> Come on, dude. Bro, I can't, bro. I can't, didn't bro. Pay, didn't Tristan brag about fucking 15 year olds and taking their virginity? I mean, come on. He knew she was 15. He said 15. Like, dude, that's such a crazy, that's there. such a crazy thing to say, bro. It's even crazy it's to even do, like bro. Sex trafficking to Tristan DM the girl one time. You go and say that he's trafficking women. He's stealing her from countries. He's stealing her passports. And then all of that gets debunked. The WhatsApp messages come out and show that these women What's wanted to go. Debunked? Spend Nothing is getting debunked. Talk. What are you talking about? All what? these victims have been exposed. All the victims that said That's that they not were. true. Nobody's been exposed. You're just making shit up. All the victims. All the victims who said that they were trapped in the house, there's CCTV footage of them walking in and out of the house, getting Uber Eats, going there shopping, are, not, do, you see, dogs. do you see how you do this thing where when you realize you don't have an argument, you just keep like vomiting out a million points? Every single thing you're saying has been proven to be not true. The CCTV footage- Hold on, shit. From acting on- from what I've read, apparently men that are given access to child pornography have a higher chance of not actually committing um, pedophilic actions in real life. And I would argue that that would be a moral good, that if you can prevent people from acting on those urges, that's something that should be explored for- Dude, what the fuck? Like a 21 year old, 22 year old, like there are some 15, 16 year old chicks that like look pretty fucking hot. Like I can't, I can't- yeah. About child pornography. That's kind of a different thing. Um, there's like moral versus pragmatic sides of that. I've seen a little bit of evidence on the pragmatic side, and it, it seems like an uh, like an okay thing. I probably shouldn't say that. Or... Yeah. I explained to my daughter, incest is wrong. Is it actually? Wrong? I'm saying that they're gonna go and fake crocodile tears and sell this story to Netflix and Hulu. The Wait, WhatsApp messages that had the fake crocodile tears were part of messages that were cut from a larger group of messages that showed the girls were going to make up a lie so they could escape the Tates. And it was one girl that wanted to bring another girl out as well. But she thought that if she faked cry to them, she'd be able to escape the compound. Those whole messages got leaked, not the two pages that you saw, but there's like a whole like four or five page thing of it. None of this has been debunked. All of this is fake that you're, that you're talking about. Wait, can I ask you a question? There's, yeah, this, there's this graph you have, and it's, it's a, called Goldilocks Zone. Uh, 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 this is literally a Photoshop picture. You really believe this picture is real? Ethical behavior, ethical CP, and child porn. Oh, that's yeah, fake. This is, not, this is not a real picture. This is a Photoshop. Okay, picture. I was I just asked you about it. I didn't assume I was ask, I was asking you a question. Um. All right. Well, look. There's a lot of clips with you defending CP, you know, and pedophilia. There's not a single clip ever with me defending child porn. I've been streaming for 12 years. You think if I was into child porn? Damn. Kid, 12 years. Jesus. Yeah, I, I probably would have been exposed by now. Jesus, 12 years? Do you still see yourself doing this in 12 years, Aiden? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't know. <laughs> shit, Eddie. Yeah, I don't know. Shit, Eddie, you gonna keep, you know what I mean? I don't know. Listen, my point is this, though. Destiny, there's nothing wrong with him streaming. I, if 12 years, good for him. Destiny, this is my thing. Do, have you have you evolved and matured in, in these 12 years? What were you like 12 years ago, if you don't mind me asking? Like, were you, were you, you know, what, what was your, do you have the same beliefs, different beliefs? What, were, what was it like 12 years ago for you? Uh, 12 years ago, I was probably like you guys. 
mad against the system, thinking the so then and then right so what brain what brain what what, 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 what brain right what brainwash you? Did you get did you get um did you get touched by somebody? You know, you get a little bit older, you see the way of the world, you learn things. You know, when you don't know how anything works, everything's a conspiracy. So let you me ask you a question. You you're, 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 work for a particular reason. You're like, oh, okay, makes sense. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> experience while gaming for 10 hours every single day this is as common argument as saying that we're, we don't know anything because we're on social media hello bros and say like oh like your early 20s stuff like that when this dude games for 10 hours a day what do you know about the real world it's like 12 <laughs> years ago you were still streaming and you were going to esports events are you this enlightened guy because you dyed your hair blue and you're still doing the same thing what makes you have more world, real world experience because I talked to a lot of people, I've been through a lot of things, I've had a lot so of experiences. You've been 12 years and haven't really changed your stances on anything. You talked about eight years ago how you were justifying, well, defending child people who watch child porn, and you still stand by that. Doesn't sound like you evolved that much. Cinco, you're literally the male version of the Miami boat girl who's riding off of other people's wealth to take pictures for your Instagram. I don't know how you're telling me that I don't have any life Yo. experience. If you want to challenge me on any particular topic, if you want to say, I don't think you understand this, then that's fine. Then we could talk about it. We could chop shop on anything. I've had a lot of business experience. I've had a lot of interpersonal experience. I've had a lot of experience hopping different platforms. I've traveled all over the fucking world. I've talked to a lot of people. I've fucked a lot of girls. I've had, like, if you want to talk about a particular thing, we could chop shop on anything. But to say, like, oh, you don't have any experience because you've streamed video games, like, bro, come on. That's what you say. You always say that to me and Aiden that we don't know anything. It seems you like do. we're doing You do say that. I think I know a lot. I know a lot. Sneeko, I know a lot. Destiny, I know a lot. Destiny, how many genders are there? There's two genders, buddy. Thank you. Really? He, he's trolling because you, yeah, you have a lot of she they friends. Wait, I was gonna, I was gonna. I was, I, <laughs> doesn't mean Sneeko, yo, Sneeko. Well, look, this is why I ask. I ask you. I, I just want to know, man. What? Where, where's your head at? I told you. You have, a, you have a kid, right? Yep. Let me ask you a question, and 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 this can kind of get personal. I'm not gonna let it get personal. You don't, you don't have to answer right. it. Uh, personal as you want. Go for it. I. How old is your kid? 11 years old. So if your 11 year old child is being exposed to certain. TV and movies, what are, which are promoting a, a, an agenda, you know what I'm saying? How do you feel about you know that? How do you feel about you know them them watching commercials, TV shows, movies, and the only thing you can do as a parent in today's age, it's different for you guys. When I was a kid, you could keep your kids away from that shit, but today you can't. It's on their iPads, it's on their phones, it's on their computers, it's on TV. If you lock everything down your house, they're gonna learn about it from their friends at school. The best thing you can do is talk to your kid enough so that if they see something that's weird or strange and they don't understand, that they'll come to you and talk to you about it. But if you don't, I mean, then they, I mean, you can try to shield them all you want, but they're just gonna get it from their friends at school basically next. Yeah, I'm not letting my kid use TikTok. Hell no. My kid's not going on TikTok, not going on Instagram. Isn't TikTok getting banned in uh, this year? Uh, we'll see, I mean, maybe. They're trying to in the US, but we'll see. Oh, Destiny, what do you think about how Kanye predicted um, about how he didn't, he didn't want North having a TikTok? Uh, because it was basically, basically what was going to happen. He called it with the Ice Spice, with the Ice Spice shit. What do you think about that? Like uh, the whole the whole situation with uh, North and the Ice Spice TikTok with, uh, with Kim. What do you think about that? I have no fucking idea what happened with North and Ice Spice and Kim and mm. I don't know why. What happened? It's disgusting. Yeah, was right. Yeah, he said that he doesn't want his daughter on TikTok. He's and right then now. She, she's she's dancing to these uh, these sexualized songs by Ice Spice stuff like that. I mean, Ice Spice is basically kind of like a, a female stripper artist for the most part. If you look at her album covers, it's her like touching her clit and stuff like that. I don't think kids should be dancing <laughs> yeah. to that music. I, was, I don't think they should be showing themselves on TikTok. It, it's pretty disgusting. Um, and I, I, I think, think they should I, be protected I, I, from that. Not to sound like weird. I don't know if you guys are already hitting like the boomer phase of your life. Like, obviously, we shouldn't be over sexualizing kids on social media, but like, you know, they do that shit like in Hurley High School, right? Did you guys not have high school dances where you've got like the dean running around trying to keep the kids from like fucking, you know, grabbing each other when they're yeah, dancing and shit? Like, even Hurley's freshman high school, right? Better that it happens in a gymnasium where somebody has to control it than not being able to police it and millions of people are seeing it on an app and they can do whatever they want with those. That's completely different. One is in a control Chat, what's room, a boomer? one is for the whole world. I don't think it you happens. Just, I, like I said, I don't, I, I don't think it should be on social media. I think it's a little bit messed up, but like kids have always been doing this shit. Like there was the fucking, there was Woodstock, there was the 60s, like kid, like children have always been fucking around. I don't know why, like some people hit, you guys are like 23, you guys turn like 23 years old, you're like, what? 14 year old sexualizing themselves? <laughs> <laughs> no shit, what the bro. fuck? All right, listen, 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 listen. This is the thing I want to say, man. You know, at the end of the day, we are people. We are all human beings. You know what I'm saying? And Destiny, you know, yeah. even though you're, you seem a little bit cuckoo, I still love you, man. It's all love, you know? Um, there's obviously things that you say that just don't make sense. Um, but, hey, it is what it is. 
You know what I'm saying? Sneeko, what do you, um, Sneeko, what, what, what else you got? Uh, I got to get going, actually. Um, I'm, in, I'm in Bangkok. I, I didn't sleep much. But, uh, yeah, Destiny, I'll see you back in Miami, man. Yeah, and hey, yeah. thanks for having me on. Are you, are, are you guys, are, no, 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 no. Let me ask you a question, though. Are you, are, no, 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 no. Let me ask you a question, though. Are you, are you guys friends at all or no? You guys don't, you guys are friends? I consider him a friend. Destiny doesn't seem to. If Destiny got falsely I accused consider, for trafficking. I literally consider you a friend. What the fuck? I would defend Destiny if he got accused for human trafficking because I don't think he is a human trafficker, but Destiny would not do the same for me. Why did somebody say Destiny's wife wants to fuck Nick Fuentes? Because apparently my wife fucks everybody, I guess. That's the, uh, that's the talk of the online world. No, w wait, really? Your wife fucked Nick Fuentes? No, he, he's a virgin. He's not a degenerate. Well, by virgin, we mean gay, but close enough. Come on, man. See, look, look at that. Look at an actual gay person using gay as an insult. It makes no sense. Eddie. It doesn't make like any it. sense. I don't get it. I'm only half gay, okay? So let's be fair. Oh, now. you're bi? Yeah. Oh, well, okay. Uh, nice to meet you. Well, not nice to meet you, but nice to know. <laughs> um, look, man, it's it's been great, man. It's been great, you know. Yep. Um, I just want to say, at the end of the day, man, you are a human being. I'm a human being. You know, I told you, bro. Even if, even though you're a little bit fucked up in the brain, it's okay. I still. Listen, I agree. I, you know what? And listen, even though you're Jewish, I think you're human too. Okay. What the fuck? Oh hell no, dude! See, I'm I, stop this Jewish hate, bro. It is so fucking corny, bro. That is so fucked up. I can't. This stupid fucking Jew hate. I hate this shit. I hate everyone. Fuck this shit. Fuck it. I'm ending stream now. I'm laughing and shit. That shit was corny as fuck. That was so fucking corny. That was so fucking corny. That was whack as fuck. That was corny. That was whack. That was corny. No, bro. That was so fucked up. See, even Eddie saying, bro. Yeah, Eddie. What the fuck? Eddie, get the hundred subs right now, Eddie. Or I'm, or this is it. I'm editing his shit. And I'll never go live again. I'm kidding, Eddie. You don't have to get the hundred subs. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You do a lot for me. But real shit, though, bro. Like, what the fuck was that, bro? Was that even necessary, chat?